what is up guys y'all know what time it is today it is time for records of ragnarok chapter 95 and boy this is gonna be it this is gonna be the conclusion to round 10. i'm still on team okita but still team okita's in day one so with that out of the way let's just quickly go into it i want to see who finally wins this long match too there's a dream yet to be fulfilled for those who have mastered martial arts, the peak of archery in which there is no need to shoot with an arrow, the peak of fist fights in which there is no need to strike with your fists, the peak of the sword in which there is no need to use a sword to cut. True mastery right here. To kill without any, to kill without any weapons, without ornament. Is that dream really out of reach? No. Masters and experts to reach the peak of that realm did exist. You know, I I just started reading into this, but I literally think like they them saying this that the dream is it's not out of reach, and if Susan reached it, that means Okita can reach something similar. So maybe Okita is going to be able to do something similar to what Susan is doing, like being able to kill without a without a blade or being able. Like they're talking about being able to fight um, at the peak of fighting, you won't need your fist. Peak of archery, you won't need the arrow. Maybe at your peak of speed, you won't even need to move. That's free because Okita just dummy fast. But that's just a small theory. However, without exceptions, those who reached that peak died at the same moment they reached that peak. That technique, that magnificent feat disappeared like do what i'll be tired bro i'll be tired if i did like a crazy feat like this and immediately died like my heart is like oh, fuck this we're out because they exceeded the limits of humanity and consequently reaching the realm of the gods okay this is yeah this might be hinting towards okita's power obviously this won't happen to susano because like you know wait is this susano because the little thing and he saw what the guy did. Is this Susano as a crow potentially? Maybe. But that won't affect Susano because Susano is a god already. The invisible sword god. It, well, the sword god's invisible sword destroyed the left side of Akita's body. Oh, my boy. <laughs> so that's the unornamented sword. Musoken. That's good. I'm only feeling pain. Oh shoot. That's happening to to Susano too? I thought that wasn't gonna happen to him because he was like a god. And he surpassed human limits. Yo, this dude look like he's about to shatter. Oh shoot. So yeah, literally both of their lives are on the line now. Literally both of the both of them are using skills that's destroying their body. Susano is about to look like he's about to be cooked after like one or two more, bro. Musoka, truth, truth be said, I'm impressed. Just when I thought I surpassed you, you, you surpassed me again. Be for real, right now, I'm having so much fun. The same goes for me. Oh, my two boys. My two boys. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm just... It's just hype that literally now Susan. I thought Susan was just gonna be like, oh yeah, I can use this technique and nothing will happen to me. Like, no, like the powers of this is affecting him too. I really wish I could fight forever. However, that's like the third time you said that, brother. If I continue swinging this guy, Musokin, it seems my very life and my soul will shatter. So I won't be able to do that. Let's end this. Oh, this the clash. The clash is coming. Okita is ready with just his right side. Oh my gosh. Okita is ready. Musoken. That technique. What the hell is that? It seems like Okita was damaged by Susano who just swung his arms. I don't understand the logic behind that technique, but like Hemdal said, he's swinging a sword of nothingness. A sword that can't be seen. It seems like Okita's half, left half, was destroyed eternally. Swinging a blade of nothingness, a sword that can't be seen? Just how the hell, how can a technique so absurd be full of nonsense exist? 
there's something that transcends the realm of reason. It can't be measured. There's only one thing that for certain. Susano finally arrived there. Damn. Even Zeus has a hard time like explaining it. Transcends the realm of reason. Can't be measured. That's code for this is just some crazy feats. <laughs> After countless years of Fuji swinging sword over and over, he finally arrived there. The pinnacle of the sword. That is truly the realm of the supreme god. Okita, he's exhausted. He can barely stand. Oh, my boy. It's useless. No, don't. Bro, come on, bro. Don't don't sell out Okita like that. Even for a guy like Okita, it's beyond pointless. Hey, Ske, pay attention. Yeah, like, stand up, nigga. Stand up. Be a man. Wait, there's to watch? This is too much. He'll, how the how he'll fight like that? This is hopeless. Don't, bro, don't sell him out. This is the wish Soji could never fulfill on Earth. A battle where you can give everything like as a samurai. Until the very end, we will watch everything. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Kondo. I'm really happy that I was able to fight you. I can say the same, susano -san. Yo, this is getting me in the feels, man. Oh my gosh, they're gonna they're actually gonna clash. Everyone's watching in anticipation. Go for it, Sano. Okita. The stance taken by the sword god. Uh listen, I don't care what happens, I am on Okita's side. I nah, I don't wanna go too much into it because I just wanna go straight into it, but I just want to say from all the feats and everything else, I think Okita still has this. I'm hoping I'm right. Okay. The stance taken by the sword god was the one hit kill Saido Saidodon. I don't know why I the font is like this. I can't read that. The top row. What's Okita's final move? The unornamented sword, Musoken. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. What is Okita? Oh. Oh. Okita got cut. Nah, Okita's not done. He's not done. I'm telling you, this, this dude's not done. He, there's no way. Well, that god is really strong. I can no longer move my body. I gave everything I had. I can finally die as a samurai. Soji. No, he's not done. I'm telling you, bro. This dude's not done. I'm telling you, he's not done. See, he wakes up. That's what, yo, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, there's no way they would end it just like this without Okita being able to do anything. Nah, he's going in for one last strike. One last strike. This is how Wreck of Ragnarok human fighters get down, fellas. Not, not yet. No, he's getting up. I could still fly. The right here, this right here is my final blow. Oh my God, you see half of the hawk and everything. He's going for it of the swordsman, Okita. Okita. You can still wield your sword. However, oh my god, what is Susano coming out with now? Are you serious? Oh, you will no longer reach me. This is the end. No, 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 I'm not taking this. I'm, Okita's all the way, man. He sees it, he wakes up. Both of the auras. Oh, Susano surprise. Oh, Okita's going in for the final strike. Tenshu flight to the heavens. Three stage thrust. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. He finally caught him with one. He finally caught Susano with a three stage thrust. One, two, three. Oh my 
my goodness. Okita, he fell to the guy. Okita sword strike flew. You couldn't fly, yet you continued to soar. To think that you would be able to release that at this very moment with a body like that. I expect nothing less from Okita Soji, the man I admire the most. Witness Susano! And then Okita's just on the ground. And then Susano shatters. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I see. I can no longer swing my sword. That's a bit lonely. Susano san. Thank you so much. The winner of 10th round of Ragnarok. The last battle between gods and humans is Okita Soji. Oh, yo, just, just, I know I don't say long pauses, but just take a moment of silence for our boy, Susano. The man, the myth, the legend. A moment of silence. Oh my gosh, that was, that was, I, uh, round 10, I will say round 10 is probably my most favorite round. I'm glad it, it was definitely a little bit over long, I'm not going to lie there, but this is just, oh my gosh, like I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this, as always, they, they always keep you on the, on the tip of your toes. Like when Okita first got hit, like here, and then you see him falling and he's like, damn, he's really strong. He can't even move his body. Like, he's like, I'm dead. And I was like, nah, it, Okita's not gonna go down like that. And then his squad mates yell for him. And then he wakes up, he continues going for a bit more. And then, yo, Susano's like, yo, hold on. Susano's like, yo, I still got more to give. He's like, I'm still gonna, gonna go for it. And then Okita's like, no, I'm actually gonna hit you with this three stage thrust for once. He, cause you gotta think about it. He's been blocking like all of them. And now Okita's like, nah, you're getting these last three, like one, two, three, right through him, bro. Boom, boom, boom. And he got him. He got him. And I'm not gonna lie, yo. I, I felt I feel bad. Like seeing Susano like this. I feel bad, man. Like, and he's still willing to go. Even though like his body's about to like shatter. Like, oh my gosh. It's just emotions, bro. Emotions. I really like Susano now. I mean, I always did, but like his death, bro, it hits different, especially when he said like, it's lonely that he can't swing his sword and it, oh my gosh, I just realized this, like the more, the more sad thing is, is like he's lived his last life as being alone because remember he gave up he gave up his whole being around like the god realm and everything his whole family he gave that up for swordsmanship and to fight at the best that he could and now and he was isolated bro he wasn't with you the chin chat ch ch with people he was isolated and now he got to fight the person he admired the most and now as he's dying like he says it's a bit lonely like oh my god that that hurts man that hurts my heart Susano, you, you have my respect. You have my respect, bro. This Susano is number one in my book. He is a number one god in my book. I'm trying to think about all the other gods. Like, they're all good. Don't get me wrong. But Susano definitely takes the cake on this one, bro. Like, this is a good man right here. This is a good man. And 
Oh, I, at least Okita said thank you. I hope she still heard that, man. Oh, look at my dude Shatter, and he's smiling. And he shatters. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Okita got that win. You know, now niggas gonna be saying, oh, because Okita is the author's pet. La la la. Listen, this dude fought for this win. He fought. Look at him. He's on the ground. He was ready to hit to take the L, bro. Like he fought. He fought. Also, Akita might be dead. Cause remember that what they said. Like they said that like if he uses this power, was well, the demons like, yo, if you use this power, you're gonna die. Also, not to mention, Okita literally got hit with a a. Uh, he still got hit with the technique, bro. And it wasn't like just on his like arms this time. Like look at that. That is literally across his chest, bro. That probably like. I don't know if it hit his heart, but I wouldn't be surprised. Like next shot that they're like, yo, like it hit his heart and he took so much damage along with the demon form that he died like later on. Like, I'm not going to lie. If they ended like that, then as I said, we got the I got the best case scenario I wanted. Like at least Okita, he at least he got the win and then died. I mean, I think that would be a waste of his character, but you know, at the very least, I can accept that he got a win. But yeah, Okita might be next too, bro. But uh, he won against Susno at the very least. Susno was a man, though. Like this dude was was no, he's not someone to mess with, bro. But overall, man, this was a beautiful chapter. This was truly beautiful to watch these two go out and to finally see this damn thing end. But yeah, I like this chapter a lot, and um. Ooh, I can't wait to see if Okita still survives or if he's put in another Quentin situation where he nearly dies after the match. But I think I don't know, guys. I really think he's going to he's going to bite the dust afterwards or either that or he loses his powers. I don't think we're ever going to see the dude fight to this full capacity anymore, honestly. And I think the last thing that was really surprising is, yeah, like seeing as how the invisible sword affects if it affects him like. For humans, yeah, I gotta understand. They said like the technique was so magnificent that like it's because they exceeded the limits of humanity, and that that is a Susano crow, bro. That is definitely a Susano crow, and he saw him do it. And I guess wait, oh, oh shoot, wait. That means that Susano learned that from this man. He learned the invisible sword thing from this man. And he saw what it did to him, and then he was like, oh. Susan was like, damn, that's a good ass technique. But if I do that, I'll be cooked. He's like, damn, I wonder how many times I could do that till I shatter. And then he confirmed it here. He's like, I'm only feeling pain. Damn. That's no joke, though. That 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 move is no joke. Shoot. Yo, okay. This is crazy. These crazy theories that be coming with sometime maybe later on i always feel like there's a reason they have some of these characters live after the match so maybe if okita ever has to fight again he'll sacrifice his life using this same invisible sword technique since he saw susano perform it and he might want to do it himself and that could be him sacrificing his life in another fight if he fights again but that's just a crazy theory that's reaching way ahead but yeah, hi. I'm glad my boy Okita took the W. We'll see what happens in the next chapter. And um, now I wonder who's gonna fight next. We got honestly all that's left is uh, I believe Anubis, Loki, and Odin. And now the score is Jesus. We are so far into the match. I forgot what the score is. I think we're tied again. I genuinely think we are tied again. I'm trying to think. Uh, Thor won, Zeus won, and then Kojiro won after that, and then Jack, and then we are tied. Then Shiva broke the tiebreaker. Then Buddha brought us back at a tie. Then Quinn put us ahead. And then Tesla lost because Beelzebub put us back at a tie. And then Apollo won. So the gods, yeah. So now we're back to a tie. 
we're back to a whole nother damn tie again. Jesus Christ. All right. Now I can really go in either direction. So, honestly, yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are in this chapter in the comments below as usual. I'm happy Okita won. But honestly, Susano is top god to me now. Like, this is why this is my favorite match, honestly. So, yeah, let me know how you guys feel about this chapter. And also, who you think is going to fight in round 11 now? Since it's a tie. And honestly, I think I truly do think Odin's going to be last for sure. But if I really have to take a guess, I think Loki might fight next. If not Loki, then Anubis definitely is going to. But yeah, that, that also means who do y'all think is going to be fighting next on the human and God side? I don't know who on the human side. Honestly, I forgot who's left. I know it's Rasputin, Nostradamus, and I believe Simeo. I think those are the three. And then we also still have um, Siegfried as well. So let's see how things progress now. It's always interesting to see what happens after a match is done, because then that's when some more some more world building will come into play or some other crazy event happens or you see people's reactions. So let's see. We'll wait and see. All right. Well, with that out of the way, I will catch y'all later. Thank y'all for joining me on this. And thank you for those who stayed throughout all around 10 with me. <laughs> it was definitely fun. And can't wait to see how the next round plays out. But yeah, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you once again for always watching my videos. And I appreciate the time that y'all take to check me out. I appreciate y'all. Stay safe out there. And be good people. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.